we are now moving forward in the bridging with a, a look, a, quite, quite a sort of um, quick look at graph transformations. I've done extensive videos on the ins and outs of this. The idea of this one is that we can sketch the very basic transformations and have some appreciation of what they are. Let's start with the absolute um, straightforward graph of y is equal to x squared or the f of x is equal to x squared. And we know that's just going to look like a standard parabola that's symmetric about the y-axis. And it'll just end up looking something like that, assuming I can draw it straight. Okay, let's just make that just a touch better in there. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. Now, the graph transformations that we're going to do are going to be fairly straightforward and simple single transformations. So we will be given the f of x. This is the f of x. Our first transformation is the f of x plus a. All that is happening here is that this graph is moving up by a units. So this is a, we can call this a vertical, so vertical translation. And the vector is simply going to be 0, a. It's moving up. So, for example, if we now put on here, and hopefully this colour will show up, um, if we had now, we'll have the same shape, hopefully that's making some sense. This would be now the f of x, so the f of x plus 1. Okay, so all it's done is moved up to the point here at 0, 1. So this would be an example of the f of x plus 1. The f of x minus one would be down here so it's uh, maintaining exactly the same shape again apologies that this is not highly accurate but it's just being moved down so that would be an example of the f of x minus one so in this case we would have zero one and in this case we'd have zero minus one the next one that we're going to do is the second graph transformation which again is a basic translation but this time it's going to be a horizontal translation. So let's again start with the f of x is equal to x squared, just for a nice standard parabola. So this next one, the f of x minus a, this now is a horizontal translation. So horizontal translation. And this is moving by a vector of a zero. So if, and this is quite, it's quite counterintuitive for some people. If you have the f of x minus 2, all that's going to happen, this graph is going to move two places now to the right. Exactly the same place, so it's gone, same shape, so it's gone from here to here at 2, 0. If we have the f of x plus 4, inside the brackets, then we're moving left by 4. So this becomes now minus 4 comma 0 and again not to scale but gives you some idea if it's inside the brackets it's affecting the x-axis if it's outside the brackets it's affecting the y-axis so these are your two basic translations okay so all they're doing is moving up and down or across and sideways so here's the first one f of x so if you f of x minus a and then the f of x plus a. Vertical inside, uh, sorry, vertical outside, horizontal inside. Okay, let's look at the next one. Right, what we're going to do, get, we'll get y equals x squared back. Now this one is uh, often with this function not wildly easy to see. So here's the f of x. What we're going to do is a f of x. Now, a f of x is a scale factor stretch, and this is a stretch, so we've done translation, the scale factor stretch of a units parallel to the y-axis. So all of these are being stretched upwards. So if we had 2 f of x, then those y-coordinates are being stretched upwards. So we'll end up with the graph looking something like this. Again not hugely accurate three f of x we're going to stretch them even further so they're all being pulled up so if you can imagine 
the point here was at 1. If we got 3, so it's 1, 1, y equals x squared, it would become 3, 1. If it was scale factor of 4, 4, 1. So this is a scale factor stretch parallel to the y-axis of A units. It's outside the function, so it's influencing the y-coordinates. Let's now look at the other stretch. There are two stretches, and the next one, again, we'll draw the basic quadratic graph. And often these look the same. This one is going to be the f of ax. So we're inside the brackets this time, and this is a scale factor stretch. So scale factor, and be careful with this, this is 1 over a, and that's parallel to the x-axis. So if I've got to now f of 2x, each of these points is going to get twice as close. So that's going to come in, so it's going to go from there to there, and they're going to get twice as close. And it gives the same impression as the other graph, very or very similar impression. If I had f of 1 third x, remember that's 1 over a, so if I've got 1 over 1 third, it's actually making them three times uh, greater. So this is going to be a lot flatter and wider, so they're moving three away. So if we're inside, it's a scale factor stretch of 1 over a parallel to the x-axis. If we're outside, it's simply a scale factor stretch of a units. So they are your two basic um, stretches. Now, you've also got reflections. Reflections are dead simple. Absolute, uh, what I call gimmies. Here's y is equal to the f of x. Okay, if we have negative f of x, all this is doing is reflecting in the x-axis. Okay, remember if it's on the outside, we're influencing the y coordinates. So that was here at 1, it's now at negative 1. This point here was at 2, for example, this was at negative 2, excuse me. So this is a reflect, uh, reflection in x axis. The next one we're going to do seems logical, but it's going to be the only one left. And these are your basic single transformations. Now, with this one, I'm going to use a different function because it's pointless using the other one. I'm going to have this function right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is the following. This is going to be the f of minus x. And this is a reflection, so reflection in y-axis, Okay. because the x-coordinates are changing. So what we would get now, it would look like so. It would be reflected in that point right here. The problem with this one, if you think if it's reflected, it looks like the same thing. So this is f of negative x. They are your basic graph transformations. And as I say, I've done some extensive ones in other tutorials, which will be linked up. Um, but these are the ones. So let's build it up. If we've got the f of x, then the f of x plus a is a vertical translation, so it's just moving, the shape is not changing, of A units. That is a vertical translation. If we have F of X minus A, this is a horizontal translation of A units, and be careful. Okay, and be careful, it's going right, so translation and the coordinates affected on this one are going to be your y's. On this one, they're going to be the x's. Now, we have the other one, a f of x. And this was a stretch. So now we're stretching parallel to the uh, y-axis. So the y's were influenced or changed. f of ax was a stretch. And it was 1 over a, a scale factor stretch of 1 over a. This was SF, scale factor stretch of a. This is a 1 over a scale factor stretch parallel to x. So the x coordinates are being influenced. And then finally, we looked at reflections. So these are stretches. 
these are simple translations they all fall under transformations and then we had now negative f of x was reflecting in the x and it was for y coordinates that changed and then we had f of negative x which reflected in y axis uh, reflect in y and the x's were influenced or changed so there are six basic transformations that you should be comfortable with for algebraic graphs um, as you move into your A level.